everyone. Today we're going to go ahead and read a story. The story is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Here's the title and the author, Eric Carle. Eric Carle's the one who wrote the story and drew the pictures. So we're going to go ahead and go over parts of a book real quick. What is this part of the book? It's the front cover. And what is this? The back cover. What is this right here? Think about it. It's the spine. And what does the spine do? Holds the pages together. Okay, let's get started. Ooh, look at the very pretty colors Eric Carl drew. Oh, the author wrote a, a little message for my sister, Krista. Hmm. I drew a sun. Okay, it says, in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the egg. What color is the egg? White. Right. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a little tiny, very hungry caterpillar. There's the sun and there's the caterpillar. I wonder what he's going to do. He started to look for some food. When you get hungry, do you look for some food in the kitchen? I do. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Mm. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Oh, look, it has holes in the, in the middle of the page. You see that? Right here. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Look at them. Wow. Whoa, look at this big page. Let's see. It says, on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. When you eat that much, do you have a stomach ache? I do. Kind of hurts your tummy, doesn't it, when you eat too much too fast? Let's see what happens. Ooh, we ate through a green leaf, looks like it. Let's see. The next day was Sunday. Again, the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. I think he ate something healthy, didn't he? Too much sugar, too much, too much chocolate might be too heavy for your stomach. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Whoa, look at him now. He's not tiny like when he started, isn't it? He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then, then he nibbled a little hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And so the cocoon is a little small house that the caterpillars make 
and they make themselves into a beautiful butterfly. So, and when he pushed himself out, he was a butterfly. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all the colors. The author, Eric Carl, he's the illustrator too. And he did some beautiful colors in there, didn't he? The end. Thank you so much for staying with me and reading the story. Thank you.